This is the sixth time I've DC'd trying. I, I don't know what's wrong with my internet, but I am just trying to record the VGC style. What is cracking, guys? It is your boy Cypherblock here, bringing you guys episode number 13 to our Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle Spot series for the fame VGC style. Well, again, we're on episode number 13, and we're bringing you a team that you won't forget. This is actually a German. A German. I, I got it off a of Nugget Bridge. It's a German team that actually won regional. So I am bringing the Choice Scarf uh, Landris, the Citrus Berry Thunderous, the Lumberry Terrakion, the Mega Metagross, the Life Orb Hydreigon, and the Venus Policy Lapras. So if you guys are excited for today's episode of VGC Style, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel because your support doesn't go unnoticed. And let me tell you is that if you guys support, then I will be able to support you guys with having YouTube content on your timeline. So, our rating right now is in fact 6 and 6. We did lose the last episode, but we did win our first one. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you guys go check the both those out. They are in the playlist on my YouTube channel. But with that being said, let's just hop right in. So, unfortunately to the DC, we had to take a loss at the bottom there. So that's really unfortunate. Uh, stupid internet, you know. But, oh well, I mean, what are you going to do about it, you know? What are you going to do about it? They should really make a mechanic that if you turn your Wi-Fi off, then it should not count. But I guess I'm not Game Freak, and I guess I can't really make those decisions. But we have a 1423 rated player, Josh from California. So let's see what he makes. Let's see what he brings. He brings a Linoon, a Bell Awesome, a uh, Darmanitan. A Greninja, a Matchamp, and a Gardevoir. And also, guys, if you guys have any team sets or trainer tips or anything in the comment, or any trainer tips, leave them in the comment section below because I will definitely use and gen them. So, <sighs> definitely gonna bring Landris first because Intimidate would hurt the Darmanitan, the possible Greninja, the Linoon, the Matchamp. And it would definitely hurt a lot of things on his team. So, Landers is definitely going to come first. And then, after that, I'm really, really, really considering bringing the Terrakion. I know that's a big... No, actually. Thunderous is actually what I'm planning on bringing. Because Thunderous can easily hit the... Uh, it can slow down whatever it wants on the team. Plus, it can hit the Greninja hard with the Thunderbolts. So forth. Plus, they can you know taunt the Melossum or the Linude for the setup. And then next, I'm definitely going to bring Metagross just to have in the back because if in case that is a Mega Gardevoir, which I see from it is, so I'm definitely going to bring Metagross here. And then last but not least, I really, 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 really want to bring Hydreigon. But Dynamic Punch is a thing. But I have no other choice because I am weak. I am weak to fighting either way. If I bring Lapras to Rakion, or Hydreigon, I'm weak to fighting, so I guess Hydreigon would be our best bet because he can outspeed a Machamp and he can at least get off a nice powerful Draco Media. So, yeah, that's what we're going with. So, yeah, he didn't have anyone with Defiant or anything, so I guess we're sitting good there. I learned with bulk hoarding, if you have big jugs of water, it makes it so much easier. So we're going to leave with Thunderous and the Landris. He's going to leave with Matchamp and Matchamp and Greninja. So that's actually fine. I'm actually not mad about that. So what I could do here is I could actually, in fact, U-turn on Greninja. And I can actually go for the T-Wave on Greninja as well, if that's worth it. That is worth it. That is definitely worth it. Because then I can knock him out with a possible bullet punch or or anything I really want to. So let's see. So he led with Greninja and Matchamp. Matchamp. So we are going to... Oh, he's going to stay in. Oh, I forgot Prankster. Duh. So he is going to stay... Or we're going to get the T-Wave off. That's fine. Hopefully he gets Parahaxed. So we are going to get the U-Turn off. Is that going to be able to kill this thing? Oh, is that Focus Sash? That is not Focus Sash. He lives on one hit point. That is not Focus Sash. Um, let's see. I feel an Ice Beam coming from this thing. So, oh, oh, plus we get the Bullet Punch off. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But, 
butt. Fling? What's flinging at me? Oh. Oh, poison bar. Wow. Wow. Okay. Knock off? Oh, I thought that was going on too. So, alright, so now we have an option here. I don't really see this Greninja doing too much to my uh, to my Metagross here. So I'm actually going to go for a Zen Headbutt onto the Matchamp. And I'm actually just going to go for the Thunderbolt. Or I could Protect. I'm actually going to Protect. Because I won't... Actually, no, I will also be the Greninja, and I will also be the Matchamp. So, yes, I am actually going to get the Zen Headbutt off first. And the Zen Headbutt should take out the Matchamp, I believe. Unless it, unless it misses. If it misses, we're going to be in a tight position. So, he doesn't miss. This should take out the Matchamp easily. It does take out the Matchamp. Hopefully, Greninja gets Parahaxed, and we should be sitting in a decent position. So, it is going to go for the Gunk Shot, but I am protected, and Metagross doesn't... Um, doesn't get affected by it so now we can easily go for a bullet punch here and then hit something hard with a taunt or a possible thunderbolt on something i guess i could have went for the thunderbolt onto what's his name onto uh the ninja here but that's fine that's fine uh you know what 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 might i'm going to switch out of hydreigon here I'm actually going to go into Landorus, because I a Flare Blitz is obvious. And I'm actually going to go for the Thunderbolt onto the Greninja. Because I will outspeed, in fact. And obviously, because a Flare Blitz is obvious. And pretty much Landorus can pretty much just wall I hold our minute 10. Plus, I get the Intimidate, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, if this thing's Choice Bandit, it could be a problem. So he is going to Flare Blitz. He is going to Flare Blitz Landorus. This shouldn't do too much at all. Okay, I may have spoke a little too soon. But the good thing is I am Choice Scarfed. So I should be able to outspeed and go for an Earthquake on something. So what's he going to send out here is the question. Gardevoir. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go for an Earthquake here. And let's go for a T-Wave. Let's go for a T-Wave on the Darmanitan. Might as well. And if nothing hits my Darmanitan, or my, um, uh, if nothing hits my... Thunderous, and I should be able to live possibly maybe another uh, another uh, poison. So I could possibly go for a thunder wave onto the uh, onto the Gardevoir slot. But we do get the earthquake off. I believe that's going to take out the Darmanitan. I believe that is going to take out the Dark or the Darmanitan. So I guess I got just a parallax on nothing. So and then he's going to go probably for the Hyper Voice or Dazzling Gleam, in fact. And that is going to take out. Now, question here is we have Metagross and we have Hydreigon in the back. Alright, so now I get a Bullet Punch is actually going to be pretty safe. So we're going to Bullet Punch and Protect easily. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So we're gonna go for the Protect here. Gonna get the Bullet Punch off. Tough Claws boosted, that should take out the Guard of War. In fact, it does, and there your folks is a match right there. So, two wins with this team, one loss. And I think we move right back into the 1500s, I believe. I think we should be at 1501, I believe. Don't quote me on it, but I think we should. So, great match, Mr. Guy. And with that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button because it would be really appreciated. 
Also, if you guys could subscribe, because I will provide YouTube content for you guys' timeline. And with that being said, let me know in the comment section below who do you think the MVP was, or possibly maybe even a trainer tip, or even a team set would be even greatly appreciated. So, but with that being said, guys, I'm going to get to recording on to the next episode. So, I will see you guys then. So, make sure you have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. What is cracking? Because, see you.